Can it get any better? Are the results too good to be true? Just one week after the unboxing and setup and first prints of this 3D printer, man, this 3D printer keeps printing. The Cutie Tech X Plus 3, my first impressions and my thoughts. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. Yeah, it, I'm, I must say, it was a crazy week. This is not a review video, this is a first impression after having this 3D printer for a week. So what do I think about it? Well, I must say, or must say, I must say it for myself because my gosh, this 3D printer, with this 3D printer within one week, I have printed so many things that I was almost keep going, you know? You know that feeling that if something is brand new, like a mobile phone or a laptop or a car, motorcycle, something like that, you know, you are so happy with it that you want to keep, sorry, touching it, keep playing with it, keep going with it. This 3D printer, I didn't turn off for the whole week. Just imagine, switch it on in the video that I did and I didn't turn it off. And I do need to say there are two power supply units underneath the machine, 800 watts. And this 3D printer is printing. It's a, it's a beast. I'm sorry, I need to say this. It's a beast. Do I need to say it again? It's a beast because it is an X plus three. So yeah, three. Or do I need to say it three more times beast? Okay, anyways, let's keep going. After the initial test prints that I did on this 3D printer, and I already posted two, two normal videos, one unboxing and another unboxing video of this extra footage that I did on my iPhone. Just checking out what you guys like, which two contents that you liked the most of it and they are keep going as equal so I'm not going to say anything about that. After the initial test prints that were on the USB thumb drive I had to slice my own walls. I used Cutie Slicer which is a copy of Prusa Slicer. This Cutie Slicer is optimized for these printers for the X Smart 3, for the X Plus 3 and for the X Max 3. Well, if the Max 3 is just as good as this one, oh my gosh, this, the volume that you can print, the bigger prints, but then it also takes a little bit longer as well. But this machine, yo, I need to say amazing. I took a lot of models from many artists that I know, but also other things that I thought like, hey, this is cool, I want to print this. Oh no, that is cool, I also want to print that. I was keep going, I was keep going, and when the printer was finished, I was like, the next one was already in line, and since this printer is running on Clipper, or based upon Clipper, running fluid, I already could slice it, send, upload it to the printer without, you know, upload and print because <laughs> if you start printing then there is going to be an issue there i guess i started with uh, models from fixum dude to print and place the fdm the fixum dude motors print and place models i printed several of the them it is amazing just two hours and three minutes something like that not longer than three hours and then i had also this tie interceptor card from fixum dude i also printed them and since i had a file already in the printer i was like you know why not printing it second time you know cannot harm i had printed them on 240 millimeters by 240 millimeters so almost full build plate size uh, this printer has a printing volume of 280 times 280 times 300 something like that it is a core xy 3d printer the temperature up to 350 degrees c you can also print other materials with it but that i will leave for a other video because currently I'm printing with the normal standard filaments that most people are using PLA, PETI, I don't have any TPU so I wouldn't do that but I have also ABS I think with this hotend I can print it as well but after the Fixum dude prints I was like hey cool I want to print something else and I was searching on printables and I found a cool model a B1 battle droid from Star Wars of course yeah you know you can print it small but I was like you know 150% it's not too bad you know look at this 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 comes in three different cards you print them without supports not needed and then you change it for the other color filament and there is also a plaster uh, in, in black filament because I think that that was the most appropriate thing to do and I was like but hey I have everything now on the drive so I can keep printing them if I want but you know in the meantime you need to change the filaments as well so white gold and black I had to swap out several times after a while I thought like 
why not going bigger? Why not going for 300% and let's see how that is going to work. Yeah, well, there is a big one standing there. You can already see it. It's big. It's twice the size of the, the one that I just showed. Twice the size. And this B1 thinks Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I think Roger, Roger. But amazing. Just all the tolerances, everything fits very well after that i was anxious and i was like oh no my printer doesn't have anything to do what else can i print and i was like oh wait cool let's search on printables and see if i can find some other models that i can print in the meantime and i was like oh cool i see a cool bust from eastman yeah so i printed the john snow bust from lord of the rings and i was like cool it was big check out how big this is this is that big that big it took nine hours and nine minutes you saw the video that you saw earlier this week as well it's just amazing and so so i thought well okay now we have print, used a lot of peggy and my viewers are going to complain oh hmm, zagri he is only printing uh, pla with a machine that can do more than only pla so i thought like you know let's go for peggy let's uh print uh, some more fix and do models because he uh, he posted on uh, x that uh, that he has also a dump truck and a concrete truck so i was like hey let's print those as well dump truck printed in Prusa Mint orange pet g filament hey you no know, the cool thing of print and place movable parts and on this machine it does work and then we have also here the concrete truck moving moving as well so amazing and everything at profile fine 0.2 millimeter layer height just amazing and today i was watching the uh, cool prusament i was like this is patchy you know what else i can do i can print parts for a 3d printer why not doing that so I was looking to my uh, yeah my uh, Voron V0.1 and I was like yeah that thing needs some uh, TLC as well I did use it once or twice I was uh, this this is printed today and everything even the small parts are looking amazing you want to see me build this well I'm thinking about to start streaming it in the next. Friday evening hangout stream, you know, building uh, a Voron V0.1 or well actually upgrading the old parts for the new part because let's be honest, this orange does look a whole lot better, right? So we are going to do that or at least I'm going to do that. It involves also doing other things as well, talking with everybody in the chat and uh, having an amazing time. The X Plus 3, a QDTech 3D printer that blew my mind and still amazes me how well this 3D printer performs so far within a week, six days having this 3D printer, or yeah, well, actually seven days, and continuously printing without a problem. There is a little side note, hold your horses. There is just one issue that I really would like to bring to attention. If you are going to swap the filaments, which is going to be a thing, like mentioned in the previous video, I have the filament spool holder on the left side, so that for me, it's easy to access it and swap it if possible. So within the menu, you have the option to go to the settings and then unload. There is a little menu where you can load and unload the filament. There is only a button that says unload. If you have heated up the hot end to 220 for PLA, then you need to hold the filament. If you press unload, it first purchase a little bit and then it retracts but when retracting you need to pull on the filament as well if you don't do that it happens that the filament is getting stuck and then you need to take out the bowden tube on the top of the uh, direct drive extruder so if you don't want to have that issue please take a note of that but further one week it's just like a fairy tale I'm waiting where is going to be the trouble but so far i have strong confidence that this printer is going also going to do well with the other materials like nylon nylon carbon fiber i have two two of those spools and because they are a little bit more expensive i do want to use them on project base not printing a uh, concrete truck in uh, you know nylon carbon fiber that would be very cool but maybe I, I need them for other projects and i don't want to spoil a 75 euro costing spool of filament versus 20 30 euros i think you know all what i mean if you are interested in buying this 3d printer hey you can 
search wherever you want for this 3D printer. I will provide two links where you can buy those printers. Uh, one of them is an affiliate link from Amazon. It's just supporting this channel that way. And also the QD Tech official website. So check them out. If you are interested in uh, buying this 3D printer, the price of this 3D printer on the QD Tech site is 750 US dollars. So far as I know. If you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. If you didn't know that, now you know. And thank you for these amazing Patreon and YouTube members of this channel. All names are going to mention it here on the right hand side. Guys, girls, thank you so much for your amazing support. Because of your support, I can also expand and do more things, project based or other things that are needed for this channel. Thank you so much. If you want to also become a part of the 3D printing gang, well, you can also, you know, become a YouTube member or check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you don't want to spend any money at all, hey, that's also fine. You can support by hitting the subscribe button and liking this video. Maybe share it on social media as well. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.